hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see i have a whole new background going on i've officially moved into university i'm settled i've been here for a week and now the freshers week is over i'm ready to do a q a for you guys so if you're going to uni next year or you're thinking of going to uni or whatever you just want to know what freshers week is about i'm here to talk to you guys all about freshers week and what you need to know basically i, I really really apologize if it is loud in the background there's a motorway right outside my window and with the window shut you can still hear all of the noise so so as always i asked you guys for some questions on my snapchat and you guys lovely people sent me some questions so i'm gonna answer them for you right now okay so the first question is the funniest thing that's happened so far hmm. there have been quite a few funny things that have happened i can't lie <laughs> obviously freshers week everyone's drinking everyone's out having a good time um this girl she wet herself multiple times we went to a pier party on brighton pier and there was this girl like we was walking along the beach and it was like 11 o'clock at night and it was dark and there was this girl giving her boyfriend a blowjob on the beach and it's a stone beach so she, they heard us coming they didn't stop <laughs> so that's probably the funniest thing that's happened so far <laughs> what's your accommodation like people room space privacy etc um, okay, so room space is pretty average. It's not big. I wouldn't say it's big at all. Like, as you guys can see, the door is there, my bed's there, and then the bathroom's behind there. But, um, I mean, it's it's doable for me. I think it's not too small. The only thing that bothers me is that I have a single bed, not a double bed. So, I can't have any of my friends come over yet until I get, like, a blow-up bed or something. So, that's a bit annoying. Space for my clothes is kind of difficult. Um, there is some storage under my bed but at the moment obviously it's a bit annoying because I'm keeping all my shoes under my bed and I wear a different pair of shoes every day so I have to like lift up the whole bed and rummage through to look for my shoes which is really annoying. First world problems. Like I'm used to a huge chest of drawers, a three door wardrobe, storage in the cupboard and right now I've just got like a tiny little wardrobe and like some drawers down there. <clears throat> Privacy in the room is not too bad um, when you walk along the corridor outside my room you can hear people in their room so for example if someone was standing outside my door right now they would be able to hear absolutely everything I'm saying but the walls seem to be quite good so if everyone's in their room they won't be able to hear me from the next room unless I'm screaming and shouting in here but yeah I mean I haven't been able to hear anyone through the walls I don't know if they're just really quiet but only from outside another question for the first couple of days at uni, what food was in your fridge? <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> so, my food shopping only came today and I've been here for eight days now. I don't know how I've survived. Of course I had alcohol, but I had no food. All I had in my fridge was two bottles of tomato ketchup. I went to Costco before I came and obviously I stacked up on the ketchup because if you know me, you know I love ketchup. So yeah, like that's all that was in my fridge and I just saw everyone's shelves in the fridge slowly filling up and mine just had ketchup and then like, yeah, it was, it was hard but you know. How much do you tend to drink on a night out? So on a night out, typically I tend to pre-drink every time if i'm if i drink at all that is like, you don't have to drink when you go out first of all um but if i pre-drink um i generally only get like one drink in the club and it's pretty cheap depending on what night you go out the other day they were charging like eight pound fifty for a double which is crazy um but other nights like i've been out and it was like five pound for a huge fish bowl one pound jaeger shots and stuff like that so like i will probably only get like one drink or a shot or something when i'm out do you have to go out to make friends very good question so personally i would say yes and reason being is you're not going to be able to make friends if you're just sat in your room um generally people in freshers week are here to go out and have a good time and party and whatnot so if you're just gonna stay in your room you're being a bit antisocial. so how are you supposed to make friends obviously getting to know people in the club is not exactly the way to do it but i went out with people on the first night and then the second night we all kind of chilled together and i got to know them a bit more and then when they make friends you make friends with their friends and it's like a domino effect like that but you don't have to go out clubbing you know they have like 
bars and different events like there was a firework night so even if you get out and go to things like that there's, you might end up chatting to people and then make friends like that so but if you really are like an introverted person then don't worry because when you go to your lectures then you will meet people who are on your course and you might click with them because of common interests so don't stress about it too much if you're not big into going out you're probably gonna hate freshers week anyway do you plan to work while at uni and why so the answer to that one is no I do not plan to work while I'm at uni and the reason being is I quit my job um, a few months ago just after I finished my A-levels just because it was not good for me um, mentally no I don't think I'm gonna work just because I sometimes struggle with the workload and especially with all of the you know the hobbies I would call them that I have like my YouTube channel and I go to some like makeup events now and then and I also do blogging and I have to make sure I'm posting on my Instagram and do pictures for brands and stuff so it will just be like working two full-time jobs and studying at the same time it, it wouldn't really be possible so um, I'm just kind of working on my goals for the meantime another one here is is it difficult to keep in contact with family and friends hmm. I would say during freshers week it hasn't been the easiest my friend came to see me and she came down and we had a really, really nice day and then when she came down we met up with some other people and it was just like really chill it was it's nice it's really nice when your friends come down to your uni to see you and it's like they come and they see how you're living and it's like it's it's cute it's, it's really cute <laughs> i don't know <laughs> how are you going to balance uni and youtube this week i haven't uploaded as much as i have been the past weeks reason being is because i kind of didn't want to vlog too much because i was carrying boxes up and down stairs like the last thing i was thinking to do is to take out my camera and start vlogging and also like when i'm meeting new people and stuff i don't just want to like shove my camera in their face because you know you just can't do that um, some people don't like being on camera I have to say that I have felt lost about talking to the camera and I was in such a bad mood but since I've just sat down and started filming this video like I've cheered up so much I mean I have a day off on Tuesday and a day off on Friday so if I plan out my time correctly then I should be able to upload at least two videos a week if that becomes too difficult then I'll upload one video a week and yeah I'll kind of see how it plays out in this first week of me starting my lectures but until I really start I can't kind of gauge the workload that I'm gonna have to deal with and work around so hopefully everything stays consistent with my YouTube but we're gonna figure it out what don't they tell you about uni slash staying on campus? Um, if you are staying on campus, it is a little bit difficult to get food shopping to and from your house. So I had to order online and then I had to run out to the station, get it and carry it all back. And like by the time I made it back upstairs, I was literally sweating. So it's not like just pop to the shop. And also when you order like takeaway or anything, I have to leave and go out and like walk and go and meet the person and then come back so I may as well not order it in the first place but you know I think all of these things are going to make me a lot less lazy so you guys know that I really struggle with my cooking and I've been working on it but then I come here and it's an electric oven it's not a gas for obvious reasons and like I find it hard enough to cook on a gas oven and you take it to an electric oven and it's just even harder so what the fuck am I expected to do now is there anybody that you don't like so far um, I think the interesting thing about uni is that you meet people from all different places and I'm talking all over the world, all over the country, literally so many different types of people, different ages, um, races, genders, everything. Obviously we're not all going to get along and I have met people who I don't necessarily vibe with like that but you know it's okay like we're at that age where we understand like what type of person we're looking for as a friend and we introduce ourselves to people and we come across people and that's it from there we'll just kind of go our separate ways and yeah I have found people like that but um really and truly everyone is so lovely and it's been such a nice experience to like go out with different people and get to know people if I could give you guys any advice if you're starting uni this week if it's your freshest week as you're watching this then I would say number one if you know people who you're at uni with try and branch out and make new friends and encourage them to as well I would say to 
try and join like group chats and group chats for societies and for your halls of residence if you're staying in one on campus to just kind of see what everyone's doing and then that way if there's something going on that's not like a um like a freshers planned party then you guys can like go to that what has been your best experience so far um i had gone out the night before and i was in the kitchen making a cup of tea this i was in my minion pajamas right and this guy like popped his head around the corner so i was like really scared i was like oh my god hi <laughs> like, he was chinese he was from china and um i used to study mandarin so like i could say like hello how are you my name is this blah 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 and then just random things like book bread london stuff like that he couldn't speak english very well when he first got here and i was just helping him out with a few things and helping him to like set up and where he needs to go to register and stuff and then i went to walk back to my room and then he was like oh wait there let me get you um get you something for my room so i was like okay and then he ran to his room if you guys have me on snapchat you'll know what i'm talking about he ran to his room and then he came back out and he was like here you go i have a present for you and it's because you're a good friend um so i give you a present and i was like oh that's so cute and it was like in this cute little chinese bag i think i still have it hold on it was in this cute little bag here which i just thought even this alone was just like it's just so pretty like oh my god inside was like this box here and then on the top there's like some characters and they mean friend something friend i think like best friend or something in chinese um and just like loads of like mandarin written across it and then obviously inside was a fan and it's really really hot in my accommodation so this fan has been like a lifesaver and it's really cute it's just like a traditional chinese fan and i just thought that was so cute also as i said i've met some really really good friends people who i'll hopefully be friends for life with and yeah i mean it's early days but already i would say i'm having like an amazing experience and they really don't lie when they say that uni is an amazing experience i can already tell how good it's going to be just from being here for a week because i've had so much fun and there's so much more to come but guys i know it was a quick one so thanks for watching and hopefully i'll try and get some uploads up for you guys this week i'm going to edit this and upload it as soon as i possibly can thank you to everyone who supports who always watches my videos the people who share them on their snaps and on their facebooks and on their twitters and always retweet my stuff people who always give me thumbs up the people who comment everything like i love you guys so much and it means the world to me like more than you guys will ever ever know thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and that i gave you a little bit more insight into freshers week and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already which i hope that you have um, because we made it to 100 like until my next video guys i'll see you then bye the thing goes skinny kid pop pop and the poop 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 boom skia to to ku ku tun tun boom boom you done no big shock yo yeah yeah all right